hopefully everyone is heading out to a beach or um, some type of water bayou. Um, hopefully you, you're going on vacation sometime this summer and you need something to read. You need some good science fiction to read. And that's what this is all about here. These are the top five books for the summer. Well, not really top five, but five books you should read for the summer in no particular order. Um, I feel like these are great books. They can get you into a series. Uh, it, it's enough for the entire summer, entire summer reading. So let's just get into it. First, you have Fear the Sky by Stephen Moss. Now, this is the fear saga. Uh, this centers around alien invasion on Earth and what humans have to do to stop such an invasion. A wonderful book, wonderful series. Um, a little bit on the longer side, but it's well worth it. Everything's paid off. Great characters. Takes you around the globe. Fantastic. The second book I have is kind of a throwback. Well, not kind of. It is. It's a throwback. Uh, it's armor. Um, but because there's not a lot of mech, uh, you know, hyper suit uh, type books out there right now that I, that I liked, I think bringing back armor is a good one. And this one is, is a standalone. Um, you can read it. It's it's fantastic. Uh, if you like uh, Starship Troopers and other books of that nature, then just pick it up. Uh, you get it, read it, and just have a good time with it. Uh, next up is Warship. Uh, this is the book one of the Black Fleet trilogy. This is space. I mean, this is this is a space invasion. You're out there. You're, you 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 read the book. It is fantastic. It's about a lone a lone warship out there in the in the abyss of space learning about something that's been happening around in the human in the earth colonies and it's just a fantastic take on the future um on how our prosperity may be our downfall or how our prosperity can once again lift us back up so fantastic book uh pick that up next up you have uh the james uh s.a Corey uh book leviathan wakes now this is from the popular uh, TV series The Expanse. This is the first book in the in this series. Uh, there's six books in the, well, five books in the series, and the sixth one coming out in November uh, for anybody. So if you want to get started with this now, this would be a great time. Uh, you know, standard space opera, uh, very similar to space operas like Firefly. Uh, fantastic, great crew, deep crew, really deep characters, uh, fantastically deep. Uh, they're not tropes in any sort of the way they give you a new breed of character on a ship um rather than people just fitting in the old slots which i found extremely refreshing the writing style is really 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 good uh the way they the way he, he uh brings characters into the story the way he unfolds stories from so many different directions fantastic book i would recommend it to anybody last up old man's war this this series i extremely enjoyed uh it's about near future and our expansion in the space and into uh the the galaxy the bigger galaxy itself the complications what needs to happen what's earth's role in this new world in this new space it is utterly fantastic uh the angle that they come from is just it's an angle that i haven't read before but I like it and it makes sense and, it, and it's understandable. And when you read the book, it, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about because it is just fantastic when you can read this thing and you get to the end of the first book and you're just like, wow, I can't wait to read another one. Uh, there's so many more books in this series. There, you will not run out. You could be reading these books for the next five, six months. Uh, if you need that in your life, if you're gonna spend a lot of time at the beach, like I am, I grew up by the Jersey Shore, so I will be heading back down there almost every weekend uh, to go to my mom's house and also go to the beach because I love the beach. I love sitting by the beach. It's just an amazing thing, sitting back, reading a book for uh, three or four hours, just enjoying yourself and getting yourself recharged for the week. So this is your boy, Big Doula, here at the Lord Kings with five books you should pick up this summer. Uh, I hope you pick up at least one of these five, and I hope it turns into uh, you reading the entire series. They all need to be read. They're all invigorating, and you're just not going to get this kind of quality of science fiction in any other platform at this time. 
please don't talk down to science fiction fans. We know why your movie sucks. Hey, what's up? This is your boy, Big Doula, here from the Lord Kings, talking about Ghostbusters. There's a lot of hate towards this movie um, after the first trailer, deservedly so. This movie has, and the people making it,